Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is the first educational video I'll be posting and on my previous video I mentioned I'll be posting on um, Mondays and Wednesdays only but I've decided to post educational videos as much as possible so that I can help you all in any way and those of you who didn't see my previous videos please check it out links will be in the description so today we're gonna learn about ecosystem and ecosystem basically is a community where both biotic and abiotic components interact with each other as a system so if you're new to this words biotic and abiotic don't worry because biotic only means living organisms and abiotic means non-living organisms so to help you guys I've put some pictures down here now ecosystems can be anywhere forests river oceans ponds or even small puddle and even inside a human body that's because millions of microorganisms lives inside a human body ecosystems requires a lot of energies and most of it comes from the Sun Sun provides energy to trees and plants in the form of light so that plants and trees can make their own food through photosynthesis now these foods are actually energies that are transferred to animals and later on these animals are being eaten by other animals so as a result we can safely say that the energy moves throughout the ecosystem through the food web now that we understand the flow and the movement of the energy is one more thing that is very important to understand the balance of the ecosystem and this important thing is called role or niche this is basically the role of all the organisms in their habitats now let's take this tiger and the deer for example the role of the tiger is to eat the deer and the role of the deer is to eat the tree the food from the tree hence the energy can be transferred from the tree to the deer to the tiger now let's reverse the role of the deer for a second if the deer had to eat the tiger and the tiger also had to eat the deer none of them would have ate the food from the tree and hence the tree would have stored its energy in itself and thus there wouldn't have been any ecosystem to so there's one more thing that is very important and which is let's take this shark for s1 and this one for s2 so s1 and s2 lives in the same ecosystem and they both have the same role so the law is that when two organism in the same ecosystem has the same role they have to fight it out till one of them breaks and leaves the ecosystem or even might get extinct well that's all for today and I hope the examples I've showed helped you a bit to understand the ecosystem and if you have any more questions comment down below and if you like the video please subscribe and hit a like button hope you guys stay well and thank you for staying till the end